you attended a cult church, now you feel like your gift has been stolen and it's on the very low. Uh, family, God gives something that is yours from God, can be tempted with uh, in many ways. Don't think that it cannot, but your gift is in you, right? Uh, like in dark kingdom this is how it works sometimes a person has money there's one this person has money and this person wants to be this but they don't know give nothing nothing empty just money right but there's someone else who has money who has a gift but no money it's possible for a person to to steal what that person has, provided on the basis of this person is empty. You may have a gift not using it for the glory of God. You may have a gift and have open doors for so many things to happen in your life. So it is how, you know, if you open the door for the devil, the devil comes in, right? Because you open the door. So if, let's say you have a, a, a beautiful voice of singing, and then someone consults someone like me. I'll just make an example so that you understand. Someone uh, consults someone like me who was in the dark working like me. Someone says, I want to be a powerful musician. I will tell you a simple story of soccer players. Not all soccer players you see playing on the ground are highly gifted. No. There are certain soccer players that went through serious oaths for them to have ghosts that you see them playing with. Simply because they saw someone with a gift, maybe a boy from a township, doing magic, like magic with his feet, but he doesn't have access to what they have because they have money. Then they went to someone and someone like me placed something on them in order for, for, for them to operate with that person's gift, right? Sometimes it's you having availed yourself. Uh, and then I give you something. You don't know that this glass, as I'm giving it to you, there is a ghost that I have, you see, or a certain deity that I have that is actually holding this glass with me as I give it to you. So when you take the glass, you think that you are holding the glass, but actually the glass you are holding with a, with a deity that I serve, I have, that is taken from you. So as you sip, you see, this deity, like for instance, one of the easiest ones that you, they can do, as you sip, that thing will be pouring in saliva be it the kind of date you have i don't want to address that to to name them here whatever you will be sipping you think you are sipping this pure clean water but actually there's something that you are taking in exchange of what you have your voice to sing you see then they but remember what you had in you you know paul had to 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 not understand he had to study the mosaic law right and walk in a canon way of understanding wisdom but it was so for that person for the purpose of god to be shown in his life to become whatever so many people that we can go through that you know saul was a king chosen by people if you go through the, the kingship of Saul, you will understand it was the people that wanted him. And then if you look at the last happenings of uh, Saul's life, you are going to see that it is possible for you to have the favor of God, the, the gift of God, the everything but to, to go astray. So a lot of people's gifts have been given into the plot to work for dark kingdoms simply because they are not well positioned. And yes, it's possible, family. Hoshiyama, how I myself personally have done it. I have 
I've used people's gift in order because I cannot. I, I have to reset, uh, re uh, uh, recycle. You see, I, I it's it's hard sometimes to go and look for what what, but I can get someone. I used to get someone that is close, that has something that the other person wants, and I'll give it to them, provided there's an open door for me to enter. Anyway, I'll leave the comments for now. Uh, your gift is still in you. It may have been tempered with, but it cannot be stolen. Why? Because the one who placed it in you has a hand that no man can shake. You need to go back to study the weight. You need to go back to scripture. Why? You see, when you read the people don't understand. When you read the word of God, it's living. The Bible says it's living. So as you read, you meditate on it. You say it. You know, as you pray, I can tell not. There's nothing as beautiful as as stating the word of God to God in prayer. Father, your word says you are Alpha and you are Omega. Father, your word says you are Emmanuel. Father, your word says you will not leave us till the end. Father, your word says I've been risen with Christ. Father, your, there is nothing as possible as stating prayer, the word of God in prayer. Father, your word says your promises are yes and amen. Father, your word says you will bless those who bless me and you will curse those who curse me. Father, you said it to this. You are still the same God of his word. There is nothing as beautiful as stating the word of God in prayer. Don't come and pray. You, see, you come to God and say, God, the gifts are from you to edify your church. My gift cannot be stolen from me in order to work for that kingdom when you are the one that placed in me in the name of Jesus. God is God of deliverance. God is God of healing. God is God of restoration. He is still that God. You shall be restored in the name of Jesus. Cult or no cult, no false prophet will operate using stolen gift in the name of Jesus shall be taken back and it shall remain U-S-E plus less. <laughs> you shall be restored in the name of Jesus and with time you shall join us as we pray on our Zoom meetings. 